When preparing and taking the scan for the planning of an implant case, the key to success is the accuracy of the information you collect. To scan a fully edentulous case, you'll need to prepare a scan prosthesis and bite index. Make sure they're both radiolucent. Let's start with the scan prosthesis. The scan prosthesis is used to visualise the prosthetic end goal and to design this implant guide. An existing prosthesis can be reused when three conditions are met. One, the tooth setup represents the prosthetic end goal. Two, there are no metal parts or metal parts can be removed for the scan. Three, the prosthesis fits well or can be relined to fit well in the mouth of the patient. Otherwise, the dental laboratory should create a copy of the diagnostic tooth setup. To be able to visualise the scan prosthesis in the scan, dual scan markers have to be added, which can be ordered from dense ply implants. Create eight small superficial cavities spread across the prosthesis. Dispense a drop of radiolucent resin, for example, triad dualine from dense ply, and submerge a dual scan marker. Place the resin with the marker into a cavity. Repeat these steps to add all eight dual scan markers to the prosthesis. If necessary, you can light cure to reduce the curing time. Don't forget that the prosthesis should be radiolucent. You can find more details on the preparation of the scan prosthesis via mysimplant.com. You can also use mysimplant.com to share these details with your dental laboratory. Now, the bite index. You definitely need to use one, as it separates and stabilises the jaws at the time of scanning the patient. The thickness of the bite index should be between 3 and 5 millimetres. Remember to make sure it's radiolucent. Take note, don't throw away the bite index after the scan. You can reuse it to accurately position this implant guide later. Now that you've prepared the scan prosthesis with dual scan markers and the bite index, you can take the scan. The scan will also provide information about the patient's soft tissue and the envisioned prosthetic setup. For the dual scan procedure, you need to make two scans. First, scan the patient wearing the bite index and the scan prosthesis with dual scan markers. The complete upper or lower jaw, including the bite index and scan prosthesis, should be in the field of view. The second scan is of the prosthesis with dual scan markers alone. Make sure you put the prosthesis in the same left-right top-bottom position as the first scan. If you need more information on the scan settings, there's a small overview in mysimplant.com that you can use or share with your radiologist. Once you've taken both scans, you can upload the scan files to mysimplant.com. There's one button to upload the scan files of the patient and another to upload the scan files of the prosthesis. Alternatively, you can send the scan files by postal service to Simplant. If you choose this option, check the box in mysimplant.com. So that's it. You've learnt how to prepare a bite index and scan prosthesis with dual scan markers, as well as how they're both used in the dual scan procedure. But don't forget, throughout the process, the key to success is the accuracy of the information you collect.